What is going on guys? Welcome to Game of Mad Sea. And we are playing some Titan for right now. Uh, just got this game and I'll, I'll tell you, this game is fucking awesome. Um, you know, I, I haven't been playing as much. I've been playing a lot of uh, the campaign. Um, which, um, the campaign, you know, I like the way how they set it up. Uh, where they, how they added it in the matchmaking. Like right now I'm playing the campaign. Um, as we see, as we speak in this uh, commentary, and you know, I got, I think it's a four v four. So we got four pilots on my enemy team, and my four teammates. And you know, it's it's just really cool. You know, it's a really um, I really like the way they kind of interacted everything. You know, with the matchmaking, and also with like the way you you know kind of flow into the game, like the whole walking on the walls type thing, and basically like a parkour master <laughs> um you know just jumping over stuff um fairly easy and quickly it, it just it really keeps the action up and i really think it keeps that like level of intensity you know that that you really need for a first person shooter and it, it just it keeps it fun you know um and another thing that i've noticed like there's only four i think it's yeah, i'm pretty sure it's four v four and as you see here, I'm just whipping them out, I'm taking them out, pulling my side arm, throw a grenade, and I, I really like how they added uh, AI bots into the campaign, let along with the actual match uh, uh, match players, the actual online players added on with the AI bots. And I'm pretty sure the, the same uh, they did the same thing with the uh, with multiplayer as well, like actual straight multiplayer. But I mean. Like damn, <laughs> I mean, uh, the re and the reason why I like they um, added the AI bots is because the maps are fairly big. You know, they're not. Um, I mean, they're not too extremely big, but they, you know, they're fairly decent size. You know, for like, let's say maybe eight v eight. You know, it'd still be kind of small looking for people. But I think the way they interacted uh, the AI bots it just really keeps the action up. And, uh, you know, because, you know, 4v4 on a map like this, obviously, isn't going to be that much fun. Um, so the AI, bo AI bots will really keep it interesting and, you know, keep the action going. And, um, you know, as like, I just hopped into the Titan, the actual Titan, right now. And this thing is just a beast. I mean, God, I mean, it is awesome. Um, I like the way they kind of made a made the actual titan look so it's like you're actually playing you know actually as the actual uh first person shooter you know it's basically like for example like it's not like hopping into a tank and um battle for four like it's you know it's not that you know boring to drive or boring to use you know you don't just use it just to get killed this is actually you know really fun to use you know it's really awesome to actually get hop into the titan try to destroy everything. It's freaking awesome. And you know, that's why you know, that's what that's what I like about Science Ball a lot as well, just because like like I said, you know, Battle for Four you'd hop into a tank or, you know, helicopters. I you know, I, I don't know about you guys, but I never I, I really, really never actually hop into a helicopter to kill people. I just try I just like to fly them out. <laughs> and that's just me. I just I just like to fly. Um same with jets too. I don't know why, but you, I don't like killing things with jets. I just like to fly them. <laughs> it's just it, it's just so fun. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, back to it. Like yeah, so the same thing kind of goes with um with uh, titans. You know, the titans you don't just hop into them. You know, just whether to fly them or you know whether to get kills if you're hopping into a tank on battle before. You know, it's just actually really fun to use. Uh, and I think that's a really key, you know, factor into using the Titans, you know, making it fun to use and making it, you know, practically like it's like how I'm playing right now as an actual uh, pilot, you know, not in the Titanfall or <laughs> not in the Titan. And uh, yeah, you know, it's really fun. I mean, the way, like, like I said, the way you move throughout the game um, is just really awesome. It keeps the action up, and it, you know, it's just a badass game all in general. Um, oh, excuse me, um, yeah, you know, I, I like the way how they added the guns in, um, the, the gun I'm using right now is the carbine, which is, I think, the primary assault rifle, 
for the game. And you know, they you got a few attachments you can add on there. You know, style it up, make it look good. And uh, it's you know, it's really it's, the guns are really awesome. Like I, that's one of the um, reasons why I like this game. It, dude, there's like a lot of reasons why I like this game. <laughs> I'm saying that like after everything I say, just don't worry about it. But um, yeah, no, no, no. One of the reasons is like um, the way they like basically styled the gun um, and made the gun in the game. It, like all the guns just look badass, and and they when you use them, they're badass. You know, it's not like you go on Call of Duty and you know there's a few guns that are really cool and really good that you like to use. And, you know, that's it. You know, out of like 40 different guns, you know, I think there's like somewhere around 20 guns on here. If you're counting just the pilots, I mean, you can get different guns with the Titans as well. As like, so, yeah, yeah, you basically, you have a pilot uh, loadout and a Titan loadout, and it's basically all the same thing. You know, you get different weapons, different perks, you know, different, uh, um, launch, you know, grenades or launchers for the time. You, you, you get what I'm saying. But basically, you know, it's, um, you know, the way, like, all the guns are just really awesome looking and really fun to use, which I think is really, you know, you know, it's one of the key factors. You know, you don't you just want to, you know, pull up some, you know, Mac 11, and I'm referring this to, uh, Black Ops 1. You know, Mac 11, it's just, it just looks like a box that you're shooting. You, you know, the, the guns gotta look good. So, and I think they really mastered that on this. It looks freaking awesome. And, um, I like how they basically kept the game mode, you know, they kept the game mode simple, which is, you know, which one could be a bad thing, and two could be a good thing. Yeah, it really depends, you know, on the player. Honestly, I like, I like my game mode, you know, simple, you know, like, um, they have a game mode on here, it's Hardpoint, and it's basically like a, like a Call of Duty domination. And, you know, it's, it's fairly, you know, it's really simple, you know, keep the action up, capture the flag, you know, get a ton of kills, it's really fun, you know, the way they have the game actually made, like, it, you know, the way you move through it and all the weapons and all that, it's really awesome. And, um, yeah, you know, it's just, it's just a great game in general, like, all around. I, I really like it, I encourage you guys to definitely get this game. I'm pretty sure they're coming out, or have probably already came out with a uh, Xbox 360 version of this game. Currently, right now, I'm playing this on the Xbox One, but I'm pretty sure, um, if it's not out already, they're making a uh, 360 version. If not, tell me wrong in the comment section. <laughs> Be some great information. Um, and yeah, you know, uh, that's pretty much uh, all I want to really get out there, and uh, basically that sums up this commentary. I'm gonna go ahead and let this gameplay Keep uh, playing, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace. We've got to do whatever it takes to turn it around. Checking door. Door's clear.